in their early life, the Earth would be almost continuously tracked by asteroids that struck our young planet. These fiery collisions have made our world what it is today. It may seem like things have changed since then, given the vastness of life and the vast blue oceans. And things have really changed. At least in some aspects. But what would happen if today we were faced with a really great threat that does not have to be from space? Could we survive? Today we are talking about the statements of the controversial billionaire Elon Musk, about the survival of our civilization in these gloomy and unpredictable times. During a speech at a joint meeting of the Space Studies Committee and the Physics and Astronomy Committee of the National Academy, Elon Musk made some interesting statements about the planet, our civilization. And the future. If you wait long enough, you know, the Earth will become uninhabitable. Therefore, in the long run, we are obviously all dead. This is a problem, because assuming that humanity plans to stay here on planet Earth, it is almost inevitable that we will have to face a major catastrophe at some point. There are many things that could lead to the end of civilization as we know it. And perhaps even all life on planet Earth. Speaking to the media, Elon Musk said. I think this is fundamentally important to ensure the long-term survival of life as we know it, to become a species on several planets. Eventually the sun will expand and swallow the Earth. It will spread and burn the Earth. It will surely happen. But not any time soon. Each of his statements is followed with care because his sentences have weight and are largely about our civilization. In order to bring you closer to his views, in this video we bring you a list of 12 statements by Elon Musk about the Earth, space and future. Musk said he wants to start sending people to Mars by 2024. We will establish flights to Mars. Orbital meeting of Earth and Mars is only every 26 months, so there will be one in 2018, there will be another in 2020, and I think if things go according to plan, we should be able to launch people probably in 2024, with the arrival of 2025. He even shared his statement about the Martian government. I think the most likely form of Mars rule would be direct democracy, not representative. Therefore, people will vote directly on various issues. I think it is probably better because the maximum potential will be used because democracy has been significantly reduced. But Musk also said that anyone who embarks on his first voyage to Mars should be prepared to die. The first trip to Mars will be really very dangerous. The risk of death will be high. He often mentioned the Egyptian pyramids. It seems like a good time to bring out the Fermi paradox, called where the aliens are, it's really weird that we don't see a trace of them. I tell you, don't mention the pyramid. The stacking of stone blocks is not proof of advanced civilization. Rumors that I am building a spaceship to return to my planet Mars are completely untrue. The ancient Egyptians were amazing, but if the aliens had built the pyramids, they would have left behind a computer or something. He also touched on the subject of flying cars. I thought about it a lot. We could definitely make a flying car. But that is not the hard part. The hardest part is, how do you make a flying car that is super safe and quiet? Because if it makes a loud sound, it will make people very unhappy. It should be noted that this crazy idea of Elon Musk comes to a reality. If you don't understand the first teleportation, which of course would be great, please have someone do this, the only option for super fast travel is to build a pipe above or below ground that contains a special environment and conditions whose function would be extremely fast travel around the world. Musk claimed that human beings most likely exist in the video game. It is clear that we are on our way to having games that are no different from reality, and those games could be played on any computer, and there would probably be billions of such computers. It seems to be that the chances of us being in the basic reality are one in a billion. On the future of cars, he said. In the distant future people could ban driving cars because it is too dangerous. You cannot allow a person to drive a two-ton death machine. He later clarified that he obviously wanted people to continue driving cars because of Tesla. About space exploration, he has an interesting comparison. There is a fundamental difference, if you look to the future, between humanity being a space civilization exploring the stars. Compared to where we are forever locked up on Earth until some eventual extinction. How does he actually seize man in the future? In essence, Neuralink, it would connect the human brain to computer systems. It would be a blend of pseudo and all over the world, allowing us to easily connect to devices whenever needed. Symbiosis with machines something like merging with technology. About the future of colonization he says the following. Every mode of transport we use, be it airplanes, trains, cars, bicycles, horses it is reusable, but not rockets. Therefore, we must solve this problem in order to become a space civilization. And finally a very important statement. 
I came to the conclusion that we should strive to increase the scope and scale of human consciousness in order to better understand which questions to ask. Indeed, the only thing that makes sense is to strive for greater collective enlightenment. Although he faced business downturns and doubts about his projects such as the colonization of Mars, the development of electric cars, or the implantation of implants in the brain. He realizes them sooner or later. Which is reflected in the rapid growth, the wealth of this man whom everyone considers the most unbridled visionary. Do you agree with the statements of Elon Musk? Do you support his views on our planet, civilization, the universe and the future? Write to us in the comments. You are on the Sekretchi channel. Leave a subscribe if you like the content I make on the channel and see you in the next video.